There's really three or four decisions that you have to make when you want to buy an iPad. And if you go to the Apple Select an iPad 2 page, you can see what they basically are. The first thing and the easiest one perhaps is color. So let's just pick black for now and we'll click on that nice and hard. Uh, this, what Apple calls the second decision, choose a model, really involves two decisions. And these are probably the most important decisions you make when you buy an iPad. The One of the first decisions in this option number two is the size you want. Uh, right now there's 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, or 64 gigabyte. And this basically involves how much stuff you can put on the iPad. If you're mostly going to be just cruising the internet and using it for creating text documents and things like that, then the smaller size is probably fine. Um, the more apps and the more video and the more uh, music you put on your iPad, the more need there is for uh, going up in range to the highest if you're going to put a lot of video or a lot of music or uh, you know, buy a ton of different apps like games which tend to take up a lot of space. For most people, the first option or the second option if you're unsure is a good safe place to be. So let's pick the 32 gigabyte, but you'll notice now we have two choices here. And the, the other way this uh, panel 2 breaks on is whether you want the Wi-Fi iPad or the Wi-Fi plus 3G iPad. And this is a, a rather large decision because it does affect the cost and it affects the function of what the iPad does. Um, all wi all iPad, iPads have access to Wi-Fi connections. So basically this means a Wi-Fi is the the network that you have set up at work or at school that allows you to connect to the internet while you're in this place. There is a second option of iPad which is basically Wi-Fi plus 3G and this means that you can use the 3G networks that cell phone companies like AT&T and Verizon offer in order to connect your iPad to the internet wherever you go. So if you're going to be in the car, if you're going to be traveling, if you're going to be out and about using your iPad, the Wi-Fi plus 3G option is pretty good. If you're just going to be using the iPad at home where you've got a Wi-Fi network set up or at school or at work where you can get onto their Wi-Fi network, then this option is fine. Keep in mind that if you choose the Wi-Fi plus 3G option, option, you also have to pick your carrier. So let's say I was going to get the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi plus 3G option. Now I've got to pick whether I want ATT or Verizon. This is, means that you're not selecting the service at this time, but you're selecting the capability of the iPad to connect with that company. So once you pick the AT&T iPad, for example, you cannot choose the Verizon service if you decide to try to, to connect with them later. Likewise, if you pick the Verizon service, uh, option, this iPad will be enabled to work with their network, but not the AT&T network. So your only choice after this is to connect with Verizon or not to use the 3G service at all. The 3G service costs money, and you can see over here some information about it. Here's a nice little page on Wi-Fi plus Wi-Fi 3G. That gives you a little bit more of an explanation on what the differences are. But if you do go with that, here's the current rate plans. You can see that AT&T offers a 250 megabyte or 2 gigabyte per month for $15 or $25. Verizon is more expensive. It starts at $30 for 2 gigabytes and then goes up to $50 or $80 per, uh, for larger options. 250 megabytes uh, of browsing is actually pretty easy to go over with an iPad if you use it quite often. So the 2 gigabyte option is probably uh, sufficient for most users and the AT&T option is a little bit cheaper. If you think you're going to be a heavy user or for some reason you like the Verizon network above the AT&T network in terms of reliability, then you might want to choose the Verizon model. I myself have the AT&T plan. The plans here you can pick from are you can turn these off on their monthly basis. You don't have to sign up for a contract or anything like that, so you pay by the month. They do automatically review, so you have to renew, so you have to make sure you go in there and cancel those. But uh, those basically complete the options. So you've got to sum up again. Pick your color. Pick whether you want Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi plus 3G. If you pick the Wi-Fi plus 3G option, then you pick your size. And if you pick that option, you've got a fourth choice as to which carrier you want to enable it with. Hope that helps you uh, pick an iPad, given the options that are available today.